Hello everybody. Welcome to our Thursday night sip and shop with us. Uh, my name is Kim Magnuson. We're coming to you live uh, from Johnson's and super excited uh, to be sharing some active wear choices, um, some great solutions to, for you to get outside, get active and make it really, really easy. So today our event is called Hiking, Biking and Backpacks and we thought that we were going to show you about 10 minutes of four of our best brand partners and some wonderful styles uh, to be able to help you do just that. So today we're going to be showcasing our Merrill sandals and some runners, our Keen sandals and some runners, because those are two of the really um, most well-recognized sort of hiking and biking um, type of brands, as well as our New Balance, because New Balance is one of those um, quintessential running brands that everybody knows. Hello, ladies. Hi, everybody. Sorry, I can't see totally who you are, but Dolores Marie. Hello. Hi, Joanne. All right. Uh, thanks so much for joining us live. So before we get into, oh yeah, I got interrupted. Um, New Balance. So most people know New Balance because it is one of those brands that kind of has something for everybody. And that's why they are our, our um, official brand partner for Athletic because nobody does running and gym and um, basketball and volleyball and every other kind of sport better than New Balance. So they truly do have something for everybody, uh, just like we do. So it's kind of a match made in heaven. So um, we're going to conclude our about 45 minutes together this evening uh, with our backpack and that is going to be from Bagalini. So Bagalini is a, a really fun brand uh, that some of you um, may be familiar with already. And um, I figured, you know what, what better way to introduce our, um, our new Bagalini Summer Collection than show off some of the backpacks and the hands-free options for when we're all out, um, out and about this summer. So um, I'm going to really quickly share our giveaways for this evening. And then we're going to be about 40 minutes together, about 10 minutes per brand. And um, how you're going to enter the draws is by uh, liking, commenting, uh, tagging a friend and just generally having fun uh, within our 45 minutes or on the replay until tomorrow morning. So if you're watching the replay, just uh, yeah, put a comment that says hashtag replay and then we'll throw your name into the draw as well. So we actually have four draws today. Um, instead of doing a swag bag, instead of doing one bigger gift certificate, most of you know that uh, we are really trying different things every second Thursday for our sip and shop. And so we wanted to do something a little bit different today as well. So uh, one of our wonderful customers, uh, Cheryl Johnson, has uh, don graciously donated a reflexology treatment um, as part of um, part of our giveaways today. So that wasn't advertised on the on the um, uh, invitation, but uh, Cheryl has given us a gift certificate for one reflexology session, and we are going to draw for that as well. So whoever the lucky winner is, you're definitely going to be treating your feet kind of similar to our. Our last section so yeah this is really nice I know um, uh, my mom goes to Cheryl all the time and really has wonderful things to say about all of her uh, services so yeah so whoever the lucky lady is you're gonna be extra relaxed after that uh, the next one is a Bagalini wallet and this is one of the uh, nylon wallets great for traveling uh, the next one is not one of the ones that we Facebook gotta love it Every, something always happens on a live, right? It's not really something until you, till something goes wrong. Um, this is also one of our new brands. It's called Loki. And this is a great little cinch sack to put on your back if you're out biking, walking, or if you're wanting to just kind of run up town and get the mail, grab a quart of milk and walk home. So super, super um, easy there. And then we also have a $50 Johnson's gift certificate that you can put towards whatever you like. So we are going to be drawing for the four prizes tomorrow and we will be um, posting them on our um, right here on our page. Okay, I'm going to restart my, that was five whole minutes. How did that be five minutes? I'm going to restart my timer so that they're really going to give me 10 minutes per brand. And so it will be about 45 minutes, not 40. So all good, right? See if I don't give myself a timer, this could go on forever. You guys know me, right? Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start off with Keen. And Keen is a brand that kind of has its roots in the hiking industry in the hiking realm sort of as a real technical shoe so the great thing about keen is they do still have that technical shoe so if you're really a serious hiker and you're hiking for like 10 or 20 miles or something you really could get um some really great styles and some great support and some great comfort from there 
but we also have some that are kind of good for just our everyday hikers or like maybe you're just walking a few miles a day or like maybe you're walking to get the mail and whatever. So what I'm gonna show you today is some water sandals that are amphibious, meaning that they have most of the waterproof capability to be if you're, let's say you have a sailboat and you're wanting to go in and out of the water. Um, let's say you're wanting to walk on the beach and not have stones in your feet. So they kind of do all of those lifestyle things, right? Okay, so first of all, um, we're gonna start off with the um, the original. So this one is called Newport and it has a covered toe. This is sort of what you think of, even if you don't love the color, just bear with me, I have other colors. I personally love this color actually, this is a totally me color. Um, one of the, the quintessential things that key, uh, most of the Keen Sandals have is this toe, um, I'm not even sure what it's called. This is like a toe wrap almost, but it's rubber, right? So if you're really doing some serious hiking, this definitely will do that for you. They have two different uh, footbeds. This one is a little wider footbed. I'm going to show you one called Whisper, which is a, the, the little bit narrower footbed. So this one is nice because you have that sort of gilly tie on it. It really can snug up nice and tight and also can give you a little bit of extra room if you need. Um, this one has just a regular strap. So I'm going to show you also one with an adjustable back, uh, which is great if you have a narrow heel. So this one comes in the Crazy Rainbow, which is my favorite. That's definitely going to be... Kim's pick for the evening. It comes in this deep cove and black, which is a really nice combination. It comes in the plain gray, which is if you're wanting kind of a neutral shoe that you wouldn't really know that you notice that you're wearing it, I think this is a really nice choice. And then it comes in this fun, kind of a purpley gray. What's this one called? This one is called Shark Swirl. Hmm, great color and also just a really nice um, Vibram sole. So it doesn't have a ton of movement, but it does give you a little bit of flex if you are um, walking over uneven terrain, that type of thing. Okay, so we've got four colors. Oh, one more, five colors in this one. And this new this year is navy. So those colors, uh, we do have um, just replenished sizes from last year. And then we also have just re recently brought this one in in navy, exact same shoe, but it does have that kind of water type of effect, right? Okay, so five colors in the Newport. And all of the Keen is actually listed on the website. So the Merrill is not listed on the website. The Keen is listed on the website. So just bear that in mind um, when you're looking after the show. So the next one um, is Whisper. And this one is kind of, actually there is three. There's three now, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's actually three water sandals. So this is sort of the middle sister. So it still has the toe cap. It still has a really nice, fairly wide bottom, really great torsion, but it does have this... Um, extra little feature which is great if you have a narrow heel or you just want that ease of movement right so sometimes if you have a really high instep it's hard to get into a sandal that doesn't have any adjustment um, so this one is great for that and a lot of ladies will go for this one over the other one it also looks a little bit more delicate somehow than the other maybe it's the coloration but very very good style as well so that's the middle sister and then the little sister is the one with that's narrower right I'm gonna show you just kind of the difference. So this is the big sister, this is the little sister, and this one is definitely more delicate. It's narrower, and it's kind of, you can see just that little bit less sh uh, strap on your foot. Still has the ghillie tie, still has the neoprene inside, doesn't have the um, Velcro at the back, but it does have a little bit more movement somehow. Okay, does that make sense? So there's not quite as sort of sturdy as the other one, but really gives you that the, still the nice vibrant, vibrant sole and um, really nice uh, control here as well. So if you do have a narrow foot, this is the one that I would recommend and it is called Whisper. Um, whisper, Whisper, yeah, this is, so the only color that Whisper comes in is this color, um, but it has been a very good seller. So, okay. So moving on, what we started with was, with, with, what we started with was um, our most sort of gutsy sandals. So it's really got a lot of um, juice behind it. Next, we're gonna get into one that is just a little bit more delicate. So you might be wanting to wear it with a casual summer dress. You might be wanting to wear this as your everyday sandal in the summer. And here's where the rose comes in. This one is really nice because it does have the same vibrant bottom, but really a nice delicate upper. So it's hard to tell in the black, I'll show you in the later colors. So this one actually still has the cover toe, still has the toe cap, but just a little bit of cutouts, right? Doesn't that make it look a lot more um, delicate looking on the foot? It has a nice V front to make your foot sort of look longer and slimmer. 
it has a Velcro that goes around, but still is attached, right? So it has a Velcro, but it still has this neoprene. So it's going to be still very secure on your foot. Um, definitely, definitely our best. Well, I would say our number two style. Let's put it to you that way. So the new color is, well, we have black, of course. The new color this year has been awesome. It's called Brindle and it kind of is like taupe but it has just a little bit of a fleck in it. It's very hard to see in this light. All our lights green everything up. It's not green, um, but been a very good seller. And then we have only one pair left of the gray, which is a six, I think. Six, yeah. So only one pair left in the six and we can't get any more of these. So those are the three colors in the rose and been very, very, very popular. I'll just show you them in a little palette. There we go. So yeah, that one has been a super good seller. And it's just for that in-between person that wants, kind of wants a hiking sign but doesn't really want it to have a big, heavy look to it, right? Okay, and then next, I know I said the other one was Kim's pick, but I have another one coming up that's gonna be like a little more me. Okay, so this one is called the Ellie, and it is a totally different bottom. So think apples and oranges, both healthy, two totally different shoes. So this one has more of a fashion bottom, it definitely is, it has less movement actually. So I know a lot of ladies will say like if, you know, their podiatrist maybe said, I don't want you to get anything that has a really flexible sole for whatever particular problem you may have. Um, and I really want you to sort of think about this shoe if that's if perhaps one of you've been told that before. Um, this one has like, I'm gonna see if I can do it, very, very little motion. Um, number one seller is black, of course, and these are all elastic, right? So this one is lined because if it was full elastic, your foot would be going like right through. But these two are actual totally elastic straps. Definitely the number one style in the entire Keen lineup. So corporately, this is their number one style. Um, next is the olive, also a fun color. Nice if you're kind of having that like autumn-y kind of color, like if you like sort of the reds and the oranges and the yellows, um, I, an olive shoe is a really nice alternative to brown. And then now here really is Kim's pick. Mm, so cute. Okay, so this one is kind of like, I always call it Carnival, but it's not called Carnival, it's called, um, it's called Black Peach Pearl, which is a boring name. Uh, to me, this is totally Carnival. Okay. So definitely really looks so different, right? With those little strap stripes, but what wouldn't that match? Like super, super adorable. So the Keen, um, that rounds out our Keen sort of fashion lineup. We are very, very low on closed shoes, but we do have a couple. Perfect, okay. So we'll continue on. If I was a hiker, which I'm not, uh, this is the shoe I would buy because I like the color. <laughs> So, so um, this one is actually a new hiker for us. It definitely has a very, very wide heel base. And as you can see now, I want to always call this a flange. I think it's called like a kick out. I think it's like what it's called a kick out, I think. Um, anyway, it has this little extra piece of stability. And that gives you when you're over uneven terrain, it gives you a little bit of extra stability. Who knew? Um, very, very uh, nice wide heel base on this one. And as you can see, it really gives you a nice wide flare. So great toe box, but this is a summer hiker. So it is mesh, very, very light, um, super cute. And these are all in like the 169 range for the runners and around like the 109, 119 range uh, for the open, for the open shoes. Okay, so we got tons of requests for a summer hiking boot. And what may you ask is the difference between a summer hiking boot and a winter hiking boot. Ooh, I'm almost done, 10 minutes. Um, the difference is material. So this is actually a waterproof hiking boot. It is, um, it is fabric and mesh, and it still has a little rubberized toe cap, but it's a nice light weight. If you're out hiking at this time of the year, seriously, this is the one that you're wanting to, um, to think about. It was hard to get a summer hiker, but we did finally find this one and people really have uh, been liking it. It's been a great fitter so far. And last but not least is our meat and potatoes, as I call it, not very sexy, but it does the job. And <clears throat> this one is called Targi. It's one that people buy year after year. I should say five years after five years. Oh, there's my timer. Um, and because it just, it's the workhorse that keeps on going and going and going. So you might buy a pair in five years. You might get another pair of the updated version. However, we have been having a terrible time getting these uh, because they're super popular. So right now we only have about three or four pairs left, but I do have more coming for August 18th. 
um, and we'll sort of see how it goes. So I do think I do have sevens and eights in stock, strangely. Um, but yeah, this is a great shoe that's waterproof that you can wear all year round. So uh, do the Keen shoes come in half sizes? Oh, Joanne, good question. Uh, the Keen shoes do not come in half sizes. So the odd time we can special order a half size, but not often. So it all has to do with anything in a molded rubber bottom. It all has to do with duty and customs. So they have to, the company has to bring in a certain number of pairs per size to get it into the country well, from a duty perspective. And that's why a lot of rubberized product will only come full sizes only. Um, athletic, they do a lot more volume, so they can do seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, that kind of thing. So yeah, hope that answered your question. But, and thanks for your question. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to Merrill. And uh, we're gonna go from uh, the opposite way. We're gonna go from most fun to most technical, I think. So the most fun um, is this little guy, and this is called Tehran Post 2. I don't have to look at the name of this one because I know it. Uh, it's one that people will buy again year after year or they'll add to their collection. So it's like, oh, what, what new color do you have this year? And so it's one of those ones that if you know you wear a seven, you come in, you grab your seven, you throw it on, you're done. So this one is a great little style. It's a neoprene lined shoe. It has a toe, po a toe hold. So not a toe post necessarily where you're gonna feel like you're wearing a thong, but this one actually just holds your big toe in and it comes up nice and trim over your foot. This little strap here holds your toes in from kind of splaying over like that. And a very, very nice, um, easy shoe so if you're a camper you're somebody who just wants to throw on a comfy sandal all summer long this is the one that i would recommend for sure so this one is 109 and it comes in lots of colors uh we have one pair left of this gorgeous color which is a seven uh it's like super beautiful uh we have of course black so every year we get black not really the most like romantic color but we all need a black sandal um, this one also we carry every year. This is the stone. Find a good angle for you here. Nice one. And then also a really fun red. So red sound is something you think, oh, I want a little, a little bit of spice up for my wall. But you know what? Red is a really nice, um, a uh, nice sandal that has just that little bit of jazz, right? And it's trimmed with taupe. So really a pretty print. Okay. So that's the Turan Post 2. It's 109. And then of course it's going to be on sale for the next couple days. Stay tuned. Okay, so moving in on to the, now this is a little bit more technical. So as you know, most of you know, I'm not a real technical person, um, but I can tell you what you're gonna use these for. Maybe I can't tell you all the features, but I can certainly tell you what I'm gonna, what you would use these for. Okay, so the first one is a covered toe sandal. Lots of ladies like a covered toe and an open heel for a variety of reasons. They might not like their toes. They might like be someone who stubs their toe all the time. They might be a big biker and they might want to just have that extra protection. Um, but this is a great one and it's also waterproof, water resistant, I think. Water resistant. Uh, this one is probably my, what I call my sailing shoe. If you're somebody who has a boat in the harbor or if you're, if you have any type of a boat, this is an ideal shoe to choose. It has a great vibram outsole, not a lot of movement, but a, an upper that's very, very easy and um, light. It's all mesh and it has that little bit of Velcro and a U front. So this is just definitely, like it fits tons and tons of different feet and totally waterproof and draining. So you, as you can see, the insole has hole, holes in it. So this is the shoe for you. If you're, even if you're a kayaker or, or a paddle boarder and you're wanting to wear a shoe on here, um, this is definitely the one that I would recommend. Okay, so back to the Turan Post bottom, same bottom as the one that we saw in the fun little uh, slip on one, is this guy. And this one is nice because it does have, it's a convertible, yes, it's a convertible. So you could actually take this whole, terrible strap or terrible tag you could actually take this whole strap out and wear it as a slip-on it's not very secure but if you're somebody who doesn't just doesn't want a, a back strap for whatever reason you can certainly do that um kind of the sister shoe to that and it just goes to show you that there's that strap going this way as opposed to over your foot this way but a night really nice light sole not waterproof because it does have a leather sole and this guy is just has a fun little kind of a Navajo type of strap and it's 
not really black it's not really gray it's not really blue it doesn't really know what it is but it's a really nice little shoe and there's that white sole again so last time we talked a little bit about my aversion to white soles and i am i'm getting used to it i'm i am the person on the on the low end of the adoption so you know when you have that psychological thing um i'm a, i'm a late adopter <laughs> suffice it to say so the white sole sole is growing on me and i think this particular shoe has done a very very nice job with the white only because it's got that little bit of white in here right it kind of pulls that out Okay, so maybe you just want a nice plain walking sandal that you can perhaps golf in. You can perhaps just kind of do your five miles. Um, this is probably the one that I would recommend. It comes in two colors. Oh no, it's no, only one color. Never mind. This is a plain black leather. If you're somebody who wants plain black sole, plain black insole, and black outside, so like this is pretty basic. Um, this is a great choice. It has a nice long leather and I oh, like long leather, nice long strap. How about that? Oh my goodness. And a nice width here as well. So lots of times if you have swelling, you might have swelling here. So it's nice to have the option of just, just really giving yourself a little bit of ease there, especially in the summer. And this is a triple adjustment as well. So it goes also here. So plain black leather, this is about as plain as it's getting, um, but a really nice sandal if you're wanting something from kind of day to evening or and, and back. Okay. Next is um, same sort of type of sandal, but a little bit different. Definitely has a bit more guts in the sole. As you can see, it's less, even less movement, still vibe remote sole. And really nice arch support in here. Open on the inside and then has this nice sort of Tiva style strap uh, with our little sort of signature triangle here. And neoprene lined. So sometimes a strap that doesn't have a nice neoprene lining will kind of edge or chafe or whatever and this is a really nice nicely finished shoe which really will give you a nice comfort it's got a nice little padded heel if you can see that nice little padded heel and just a very very breezy um, color that would blend with lots of different things and I'm not quoting you prices on everything or style numbers um, I'm good but not quite that good it's I would say between 109 119 as well okay mm -hmm. Okay, um, this is also a perennial favorite, which comes in a winter version as well. So many of you may own this in a winter version. Um, this is a this is their little clog. It's actually mesh for the summer. If you can help, yeah, you can probably see it like that. Like so, that one is um, it fits a very very nice deep insole. Your foot comes nice and deep into here, so it's not just a you don't just put right on you don't just sit right on the on the top. Your foot actually sinks into here. Comes in two colors do this a little nicely two colors the taupe and the black and then in the winter one it's suede and it's actually lined and waterproof so you may own this already and so if you're thinking oh I wish I could wear my fun my favorite shoes but they're too hot now you have a summer version so lots of what I'm showing you also comes in men's so we haven't really talked much about men's um recently but of most of you know we have uh, discontinued our men's apparel but we have continued on with our men's footwear so we do have a great selection of both keen and merrill in men's footwear as well so if you need something for your significant other um you can definitely um come and, and pick one up or or send them in and we can help hello Joni. are all the liners removable yes um almost, i would say 95 percent of the liners are removable so you can replace and put in with an orthotic if you like great question Okay, last but not almost least here. I did that one already, yeah. Okay, so we have one more. I missed one of the runners before earlier. Where am I? 57 seconds left, we're gonna make it. Um, so you'll recall that we had that spring hiker from Keen. So normally I would show this one at the same time because it, it, although it's two different brands, it really, really merchandises well on the shelf together and it's kind of the same customer. So this one um, is a trail hiker. So you can, it has a fun kind of bottom. I'm all, I'm all about the color, right? But it is a very nice sort of blending sole. It's um, mesh, so it's very, very light. Would definitely um, expel the heat, not hold it in like a, th like a thin silate would. And just a really nice insole and outsole. So if you're looking for a trail runner that's gonna give you some, uh, some great options for the summer, um, that would be a good choice. Last but not least, uh, this is again another Merrill shoe that they've had in the line forever and ever and ever. Um, in the winter, it also comes lined. So this is the summer version. And it's, we always call it Jungle Mock. I'm not sure if that's the actual name or not. Um, but it is definitely one of the shoes that people say, oh, there's my timer. People say, oh, I just wanted the same pair of what I'm wearing. Throw mine in the garbage. I'll wear the new pair out. 
and done. So this is definitely um, a great shoe for that super duper good first support and really great bottom. Okay, so we're gonna move on to New Balance, uh, which is gonna give us 10 minutes to highlight the best of the best with New Balance. So New Balance has a very huge product range. Um, if you've ever looked up New Balance online, you'll get like a trillion bazillion style numbers. So we've done all the hard work for you. So we have probably about 15 of our top um, sellers and we try to keep those in stock all the time with the exception of maybe changing a color or that kind of thing. So definitely um, we try to bring in shoes that fit a lot of people. So we have B's, D's, um, we can order in a triple E and we can order in a double A depending on the style. So New Balance is also known for their fitting. They do lots of widths and lots of sizes in lots of styles. So first up, um, we are going to feature, and I am going to tell you the style numbers because they give me a hint on here. So this is a 860. Okay, so 860 is kind of, again, your meat and potatoes. It's a runner. It's going to give you great um, arch support. It's going to give you great metatarsal support as well. But it's not really for only a serious runner. If you're out, you know, running errands or you're somebody who wears a sneaker all the time, this is a great option. And I love this nice blue combination. It's so summery. Um, kind of a funny little back on here, but this is actually all padded very very comfortable to wear it does look a little kooky when you look at it on the shelf but it does have a an ergonomic appeal to it and it also comes in black of course so again black with that little bit of trim on the white sole kind of lightens it up i think so that's the 860. okay so uh, this one, we're getting up to the Cadillac here first. This one is a 940. So generally, in New Balance, the higher the number, the more technical aspects they have, the runner has. So just as a shortcut, um, this one is a 940, and it is built on a, um, sometimes they give me cheats here, T-beam, that doesn't help me. So some of them are going to have a roll bar in here, but this one is a particularly stable heel base. Now, I am somebody who has a hard strike when I walk. So when I walk, I actually strike this way from my heel first. So I always look for a really wide heel base that's going to give me a lot of sort of support to when I, when I strike. Some people are more shufflers. It just sort of depends on your gait. Um, but this one is a really nice summer, com oh, can't talk. summer color combination. And what, again, of course, I'm all about the color. Just that little bit of peach, right? Just kind of trims it up. This one comes in medium and wide. And it is, I think, $169-ish. So that's sort of the top price point for us with New Balance, um, $169. They, they do have some shoes at $199, generally speaking. Um, but we do are bringing, actually, in a couple of those for the fall. Um, but right now, that $169 is going to give you a ton of features. Okay, this one is 840, so we had 860, this one is 840, and again, really similar dynamics to the shoe that we talked about earlier, um, but and it's going to give you, again, that really nice padded heel, great support, and a nice wide base on here. Okay, oh, I'm just shuffling through this, I have six minutes left. Okay, so this is one of the new ones um, that we've just recently got this season. This one is on the Fresh Foam bottom. It is 880. And the Fresh Foam is nice because it's very, very light. Like this is pretty much a weightless shoe. It has a really, really good support and it's a little bit more flexible in the sole than some of the other ones. I like this shoe for a summer walker or runner because you kind of feel like you are forgetting like, like that you actually even have it on your foot. Very, very light, great arch support. I'll pull out an insole just so you can see. So you can really see there's that pronunciation in the arch. Very, very, very comfortable. Uh, Lorraine, have those and love them. Good, awesome. So, sorry, I can just see some of the comments are scrolling quick, but I can quickly pick out a couple of those. So I'm not ignoring everyone else. I can only see a couple at a time. Okay, and did I tell you the number of that one? 880. So for us, 860s and 880s are kind of interchangeable and they're definitely what we would recommend to most people without someone having sort of a, a serious foot issue. Um, I can wear both of them. I like both of them. They're definitely um, interchangeable walking and running. Okay, as we get a little bit more in towards the hiking aspect, this one is a 1201. And this one also comes in wide. Of course, this one's untied. Uh, so the nice thing about this one is it's got a really high tread. Oops, really high tread. So if you are thinking about doing some trail walking, uh, this one would be a good choice. 
really um, color combination that's going to give you lots of coverage so you don't have to worry about it getting wet or dirty. Definitely a good hiking shoe. Okay, so this is it, right? I want to the oh yeah. Okay, so 847. Um, if you know and love 847, you recognize this shoe. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a um, top level, what can I give you? Fashion advice. So for the fall and going into spring 2022, this shoe is going to be revamped and you will almost not recognize it. It's like it's getting a makeover. So right now this shoe is, um, it has a couple, it's hard to see in this. There we go. This shoe has a couple of qualities that none of the other ones do. So here's the one that has the roll bar in it. So it is anti-pronation. If you've ever been told that you over pronate or so you over pronate walking like this or under pronate walking like this, uh, this is probably the shoe for you. Some of the podiatrists even um, write prescriptions for this shoe. So if you're somebody who has insurance or you've been visited a podiatrist, uh, this is commonly one of the ones that they will recommend to solve a specific problem such as pronation. And the reason that they have a, um, a pronation in here is because this part is actually a steel bar. So it will not let you walk one way or the other. And like I said, last time, I am not a foot doctor. Um, I don't profess to be any podiatrist, but I have seen lots and lots of feet problems. Uh, so I'm just telling you what people have told me, what they've shared with me, um, that their podiatrists have said. So please, um, I am not definitely a doctor, but um, it's definitely what we've what we've been told over all of the years of selling shoes, which is 30 and which is 30 and four days oh, or in two days. Oh my goodness. It's actually almost actually our real 30th anniversary pretty soon. Okay. So eight, four, seven um, comes in the white combination, comes in the gray peach combination, comes in plain black. And just keep in mind if you're, if you buy the shoe normally, and you're wanting to get another pair before they change and they, before they get their makeover, um, I would definitely think about ordering in or coming in to um, get an extra pair now. If you know it works for you in its current state, um, they are changing it quite substantially. So just FYI. Last on the list is um, the Velcro version. So this one is does not have, the, oh, it does not, oh yeah, it does. This one does have the roll bar in it. So on the same bottom as the as the other one but it does have that velcro close so if you have someone in your life who might benefit um, from the velcro uh, we do have it in both black and white so I'm dropping these okay look at that we're not even gonna take a breather we're gonna run right through so we're almost at 40 minutes look at this we are running okay so speaking of running we're gonna actually like run over to the bagolini okay we're gonna just take our phone our other phone Okay, so bear with me. We're just gonna change courses here for a second. So yeah, hope everyone's having a good day. I'm gonna give you just the like live tour of the Johnson's footwear section, if you haven't been here for a while. Wow. Okay. Oh, I look like really no wrinkles from this section. Wow. It's like, maybe I'll like start, maybe I'll start taping like this. I look so like no chin and no wrinkles. Wow, life is good. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Back to two chins and wrinkles. Whatever. We'll take it. Okay. So Bagolini is our last section. You need, uh, I'll just take your other phone there. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, so I'm going to give an extra minute for the Bagolini. So if you know and love Bagolini, you know that they, it was invented by two flight attendants. So we have carried Bagolini for Re just recently again, but we've carried it probably, I don't know, 20 years ago when it very first sort of started. And when it first started, it was almost a little bit more like a suitcase. Like it was almost more like a rolling bag and then another little bag that you put on top, like kind of like what flight attendants use. And over the years, it's morphed a couple different ways, kind of more sporty and luggish kind of more dressy and handbaggish. And now they've kind of settled comfortably right in the middle. So they do have some luggage pieces. They do have some sporty pieces like duffel bags and stuff. Um, but they really have started to excel in the small goods um, space, meaning handbags, wallets, accessory pouches. And that's kind of where our space is as working women, right? So what we need for a day to day is a really good functioning handbag. We need a really good functioning wallet. We need something to put our makeup in and we probably could use something to keep us organized in your purse. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different options. Oh, there we go. 
in 10 minutes or less a couple different options. Okay, so you will notice that most of these are not, actually all of them are nylon. So some of the nylons are more satiny than others and some of them are harder and more sporty than others. So this one is called the Tribeca Crossbody and there is more features of these than you could imagine. What my personal favorite feature is, is this one. I'm a crossbody person. I always am carrying like a coffee, a water, a bag, a book, a whatever. So I need that hands-free aspect. So this to me is, this is probably would be my choice for sure. Um, what I like about it is it does have room on the front for a small tablet or your keys and your cell phone and whatever, and it does zip up. It does have a center section that is pretty darn good. It also has another little pouch inside, which is included for your everyday makeup, your everyday little lipstick. It even has some credit card stuff in here. Um, you could use it for a wallet. I would use it for makeup for sure. And it just slips right in. It also has, I wonder why it has two straps. Interesting. So it has two straps for whatever reason. Um, and it also has an extra pocket on the back and it also has two separate pockets. Like these obviously were designed by women who are busy and who need organization. So this is in the smoke gray color and I'll quote you a price when I have one, but they're going to be on sale. This one is 114 and they are all on the website as well. So if you want to have a peek at the website, they are um, all listed. All of the ones that we're talking about are listed. Okay. Um, same bag in black. And I know someone is going to fall in love with this bag on the video. I'm going to pretty much guarantee it because it is the quintessential black bag. So I love color, but sometimes in a handbag, you just need something that's going to match everything. And this Tribeca is great. So if you'll notice all the names are like places in the world, like Tribeca, New York. I know small things excite me. Okay. So you might want a little bigger bag. This one is called Bristol. And the color is called Indigo Sky, which again is not black, which I'm happy about. It's a very nice summer navy. It's kind of almost cornflower, like it's edging onto the cornflower side. Again, there's that crossbody option. Or if you don't want the crossbody and you want it just as a regular shoulder bag, you can certainly do that. So here it sits. We have, what have we got here? We've got two separate zipped pockets, phone and keys for me one large front pocket iPad, large compartment in the middle, zippered, because I am that person whose lipstick is rolling down the thing in the airplane. Yeah, that is me. All of my bags are overstuffed when I'm flying, so I appreciate zippers very much. Okay, next is a 132. And we also have it in Oh, this is another one. So this is the large hobo in the actual navy. So this is more of a purpley navy. The other one is more of a cornflower blue. Um, it has a nice bright royal strap. So I'm just going to show you what they look like. Because a handbag is hard to sometimes online. When you look at it, it's, it's hard to get an idea of what the actual scale is. So this one is actually pretty bulky. This is actually a wider bag than some of the other ones. If you're wanting an envelope that kind of sits close to your body, think about that Tribeca. It was a little bit, a um, little bit more trim on your body. Um, this is this is a serious purse for a serious woman. You need lots of stuff. This is your bag. Got tons and tons of room on the inside, and also has one of these. So almost all of the Bagolini have this extra little pouch. I appreciate that just to be a little bit more organized. This guy is 129 and oh, RFID. So for those of you who are wondering, um, all of their bags have that um, anti, uh, whatever it's called, anti-scam thing, like the RFID. Um, so you, no one can walk by you and scam your cards or whatever. So yeah, interesting. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so there's that guy. Also comes in the gray, which is called Sterling Shimmer. And it's a gray that's not super flat. So it's not like a sporty gray. It definitely has a little bit of shimmer in it. And I just find it looks a little bit less athletic looking somehow. I'm not a gray person, but this is definitely a good everyday bag. It's got two. See, for me, this would work because it's a water bottle on one side and a coffee on the other. For those ladies who have to have it all, all the time, good, good option. Okay. So next we have, we're moving up in size, as you can see, and then I'm going to go back down again. 
So this is probably our largest bag. This would be an, a good airplane tote. So if you're somebody who is thinking, I do want to use this on top of my, um, my carry-on, this is one of the ones that does have this little guy. So this is intended to go on your, on your suitcase and kind of like the flight attendants do, um, pull that together as one unit. So this is definitely the most like a tote bag that any of them have. It has tons of organization inside, another strap, and does it have a little extra thing? I don't see it, but it does have some very good containers, or very good containers, very good compartments. So we have a big zipper one and a big button one, and oops, I'm caught, and yeah. So if you're thinking about hopefully traveling somewhere someday and you want a new carry-on tote, this is the one that I would recommend. And the name is, the name is Hong Kong Laptop Tote. So obviously big enough to fit a 16 inch laptop as well. So it is 160. Okay, so half done. It wouldn't be backpacks, bikes, and what, what do we call it? Bikers, bi biking, hiking, and backpacks. It wouldn't be our show a true name without one little backpack to show you. So this is the Bagalini backpack, which is called the Central Park backpack. And it's pretty ergonomic. It's not really big and bulky. It's not too small to fit anything. You're not gonna look like you're like, you know, have like the kids have those little tiny mini backpacks. I'm like, what's the point? You could put like a can of pop in there. This one you definitely can fit lots and lots in. Um, one compartment, two compartments, both with zippers. And this is a fun one because it's it the finishes on it are pretty high end. They're not really sporty, which I, I of course like. And I don't want to put this on my back because they're all straps are all together, but it's definitely a nice size. Leather trim, really, really a nice upscale backpack. It's 147. And then here we have a, a couple of little fun summer ones. So if you're thinking of downsizing for summer, this might be a good option. It's still got lots of uh, bells and whistles with zippers and it is called, all these are RFID, so don't have to worry about that. This one is called the Go Bag and the print is called Onyx Floral. So it kind of has a bit of a hibiscus print. And then here's Kim's pick, mm, love it. Great colors, these are all my colors. And I, what I love about this is really what wouldn't it match, right? Most of us are wearing lots of dark and black and navy and denim. Anyways, wouldn't that look great on denim? Super gorgeous. So that's the go bag and it is 105. Next up is the little sister. Same print as the first one. Just that little bit, a little bit less, more of a square, less of a rectangle. I'll just show you where it sits. So uh, in comparison to my hand, really nice size, still fits your phone and all that kind of stuff. Uh, depending on how big of a wallet you have, you just have to watch that. And we also have it in plain black. This is gonna be the other one of my predictions that someone's gonna fall in love with. And it's called the Calais bag and it is 109. Really, really nice trim bag classic um, that you're gonna have in your wardrobe for a long time. Okay, two more left and I got, oh, I'm out of time. Oh well, I'll just two more left. Okay, so this one is again a little bit sportier. The the um, um, the hardware is just a little bit less um, dressy looking, but it's kind of fun too. Nice and small for a summer outing. And this one is called the Greenwich Crossbody 98. And then we also have it in plain gray, like not the sterling gray, but the plain gray nylon. Same bag. Here we have another little sterling bag. In this in the sterling gray and this is very, this is quite compact and you almost wouldn't need a wallet in here like if you're thinking i don't really want to use my big wallet i'm just going to use a small kind of a card wallet and put the rest of my stuff in here this would be a good option um it's nice lightweight light shade for the summer really good okay as we go even smaller how is it possible to go even smaller but it is this is the one time that i do go on holidays I do take a small bag because there's nothing worse than hauling your big like purse that you carry every day on vacation. So this is a really nice one that fits sort of your phone, your lipstick, your cards, not, not a whole lot more. Couldn't fit a water ball in here, but very handy. Comes with a, both a, a cross body strap and a wristlet. And it's in my Kim's Pick color, which is called Plum Thistle. 
and it's $65 and it comes in all the fun summer prints. So Bagolini brings out a summer capsule collection. Um, this year it's inspired by the Greek Isles, not the plum thistle, but this one and this one. Like how fun is that? So here's my, I don't know, I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's called like El Fresco or something, but to me it's very Greek Isles collection. Both of these same price, 65 and still we have them in basic because you know basic matters um same bag again oh no broadway crossbody sorry um i'm gonna say a little bit more elevated just with that little bit of finished trim very cute but very same style other than uh the difference is one pocket two pockets comes gray and black next is um another one pocket so it has um, the straps for the uh, crossbody on here as well. One big pocket. So this is definitely your phone for sure. And then just one large pocket with a crossbody. And also has some cards, wallets in here, card little card slots. So let's say you're at a hotel and you want to just kind of put your room key and your credit card and that kind of thing in there. Uh, 72 bucks. This one is called Lima. And this one is also fun, mostly because of the gold. So let's face it, I'm a, I'm a sucker for gold. Uh, biggest difference in between this bag and the other bags is that one, cement, one strap is cemented. So this strap is not removable. It is only a crossbody. So just keep that in mind. Um, also can be a, also can be a shoulder, shoulder strap, but one extra little pocket here. And then, but just doesn't that gold hardware just kind of give it a nice little pop? This one is called Brook and it's 89. And very last but not least, pretty much, we're just gonna get into a couple wallets. Um, so one of the wallets that we're giving away is this guy and this is sort of the everyday wallet. Um, if you're, so those of you who like a big wallet, this is definitely the one I'd recommend. It comes in their little Greek Isle colors. How fun. But it also comes in the plain chestnut and it's called the RFID wallet. That's not very exciting. It's got to be called something more exciting than that. I don't know. I should, re oh, oh, it is really only called the R RFID wallet. I think we should make up a name. It's got to be called something more fun. Okay, so three colors in that guy. And then if you're wanting kind of wallet on a string-ish, there's also a couple of really tiny ones kind of going like that and then just a little well literally wallet on a string so room for like your camera lipstick and the, or camera i'm dating myself phone lipstick 43 dollars comes in the beige and the and the brown as well so these are kind of more your traveling well oops your traveling wallets right like you're you're definitely not i mean unless you're superwoman you're not probably not using that on an everyday basis but when you travel it is really nice to have and last but not least is our cosmetic bag and this one we have it in the black cheetah um, perfect for little makeup brushes or just your everyday makeup depending on how um, how much you carry with you every day you could also just use it in the bathroom for organization um, we will have more of these towards the fall but they were, we're getting pretty low we also have the gray <sighs> how did we do pretty darn close 45 minutes I lost my last timer, so I'm just gonna continue. Okay, so we we what we covered today was four categories that are gonna get you outdoors, active, hiking, biking with your backpack. So if you're watching this on the replay, um, please hashtag replay so that we know you were here and we can enter you into the draw. Um, in the morning, I'm gonna watch this all again. In case I missed your comments, I will be uh, responding to the comments and tagging you when I can. Um, so if you had a question, I'll try to get to it um, as soon as I can in the morning. And we'll also be drawing the winners of the four door prizes um, tomorrow as well. And we'll be posting it on our page. So thank you for sharing your Thursday evening with us. Oh yeah. I've been saying the whole time, we're gonna have it on sale. And I forgot to tell you the most exciting part. So as with our last uh, Treat Your Feet event, we will be um, uh, putting all of our uh, Keen, our New Balance, our Merrill, which is not on the website, and our Bagolini on for 20% off from tomorrow, so Friday at nine, until uh, Sunday at four o'clock. So all day Friday, all day Saturday and Sunday 12 to four. So please come in and, um, if you're able, uh, if you're around, uh, to give us, um, 
give us a little browse and just see if there's anything that we talked about in the video that you might want to have a second look at. And if you aren't around, please feel free to order online. We're happy to ship your purchase. Um, everything will be marked on the website as well, but not till tomorrow morning because I just realized I forgot to do it earlier. Uh, so I'll be marking that down tomorrow. And um, if there's anything that you're kind of wanting really, 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 really badly, uh, just send us an inbox message and with a screenshot of what you're thinking of and we can always set it aside for you. Also, you can give us a call in the morning and we're happy to um, to do some personal consult as well. So, hey, you know what? If I have I'm my, the podiatrist says I'm I'm a, a pronator. What you, would you recommend? We can certainly send you some pictures if you're not able to come in, um, and that kind of thing. So you know we're we're all we're all about easy breezy, um, and we're more than happy to help. So as of Saturday, we will be back up to 25% capacity. Yay! So no more um, no more watching how many people are in at one time. So we'll be back up to sort of our 25 or 30 people normally, and we are so excited. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you're if you're watching the replay. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll look forward to chatting tomorrow. I hope to see you guys in store on the weekend to take advantage of the sale and start your summer off in a great active way. So enjoy your evening and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.